Hey folks, <clears throat> we're going to do the front bumper on the uh, 10 model Silverado now. I'm going to show you how we do it. Pretty easy, not too bad at all. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to get the uh, hood up and I've got to take the grill out of this one anyway. So I'm going to show you what we do here is we're just going to pop these little clips. So pop these little clips right here. And then we're just gonna set this aside for now because we're not gonna need it until we go to put everything back together. But that's all I'm doing. I'm just literally popping these up and then taking this little tool and prying it out. So that one, this one, Okay, I'll just keep going on down through here and getting all these out. And then I'll just lift this piece off. I'll show you that here in just a second. And so forth and so on. We just keep going until they're all out. I've almost got this one right here. Just give me a couple seconds. And then we will pull this off and I'll show you some bolts that we got to use to get out for the uh, front grill assembly. And it makes the getting the bumper off that much easier. So this is free. We just lift it off. And if you look, <coughs> four 10 millimeter, bolt, uh, millimeter bolts on the grill on one on that end. Okay, now it's ready to go ahead and take the 10 mil and get these out. And we've got a nice little tray right here that we can set them all in. Now this truck happens to be a V6, but now this does work with the rest of them as well. Now, there are some little clips in here that sometimes you gotta take a pair of pliers and I'll show you what we do is just squeeze the back of them and push them out. So I'll show you that. You just reach down here. And like I said, it doesn't take much to get these. So just kind of grab the front of the grill and that one's loose. Squeeze this one, that one's loose. All right, so we got everything popped. <clears throat> now we can just lift this right off and make sure everything is still popped here. We've got one on this little. That one's good, that one's good. This one's loose. This should pop right out. All right. And there we go. One GM bumper off. Now we're gonna set this over here to the side because we'll be doing some work to it later. All right, now if you look, this gives us access to the front bumper bolts. Right here and right here. And we can actually pull this and then this whole assembly will come off together. Uh, doesn't have the fog lights in it so much nice much nice but uh yeah so if it didn't have the fog lights it's a lot easier to do but uh other than that like i said we'll go ahead and get an impact take these loose yank this front bumper off and then we can go ahead and get started reassembling the new bumper all right we're going to take an impact Man, I really love Southern trucks. And the bolts just come right out and you just can't argue with that. Um, 
set these aside obviously right here now this thing should be ready to lift off and it's had an impact so it may not be that easy of course it's not Okay, so let's see if we can jerk this thing off here. Come on, folks. All right, I guess we we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. So we'll take the bumper, bolts off going into the bumper, remove it, and then we can get access to see why the brackets are stuck. So <laughs> uh, usually they just come right off, but for some reason where this thing has had the impact right here it's not going to do that so let's get a socket and ratchet and i'll take these out and then we'll get the bumper off okay folks so i'm going to go ahead and tell on myself two 15 millimeter bolts that's all those holding me up because i totally forgot this model has two little pieces that come off the frame and go out here to the end of the bumper and once you get those off literally the bumper just sits off. <clears throat> so that's on me <laughs> I totally forgot. I do apologize, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. These two little pieces that are actually, well, let's just knock the bumper over right here. This little bracket right here. And there is a bracket right here that holds the outside of the bumper. So, yes, I totally forgot about that. I, I apologize, folks. But once you get those out, the bumper just slides right off and then you can go ahead and do whatever you need to with the bumper and replace it and remove it. And unfortunately, this one we have to take apart. So let's get started doing that. All right, folks. So we went ahead and we got the front bumper back on this truck. Now, if you notice what I did, I went ahead and I got two uh, bolts that you already saw me take out, but they're right here. Went ahead and got them tight and I got to go ahead and finish tightening this one up right here. and the front bumper is on. Now, there were two small brackets up on the back of this truck that I've already showed you guys that are right here. If you see those, now, what I did is I just went ahead and had to adjust them when you're putting on a new bumper because sometimes that happens during a collision or if you're uh, replacing a bumper that's been on the truck for a while. But, yeah, like I say, not all Chevrolet bumpers are the same. You know, they fit differently, especially if a truck is, it's been on the truck for a while and <clears throat> you know it, it's been hit or something like that sometimes you will have to adjust it no big deal don't get excited easily done so <clears throat> let's go ahead and throw the uh, front grill back in this truck and the front of it will be done all right so we're going to go ahead and stick the uh refinished front grill back in it like i said i went and uh did a matte finish on it i think it looks good with the rest of the truck and that's kind of why i did that so <clears throat> we will set it on here and it just kind of snaps into place only thing I got left to do is to put in four bolts up here in the top and this thing is secure and ready to go all right so all right and that's it folks front bumper is on front grills on it's all color matched with matte black and it's all set so let's step back and we'll take a quick look at it here <clears throat> now that's how the truck looks after it's done and i'm digging it i think the customer's going to like it as well so let's go ahead and now we've got another little piece we're going to throw on this truck to uh, kind of set it off a little bit all right so now i'm going to go ahead and install these uh 
bed caps from Bushwhacker. Yeah, and like I said, they've got a pretty decent product and I like it. It looks good and it serves a purpose and that's probably why I'm gonna use these. So what I've done is I've got the end started right here and it's a little trick. I've already got the bedside cleaned. Now, what I do is I go ahead and I'll get it set on in the back <clears throat> and I'll get these two started down over the sides here. <clears throat> And the little front piece will hold it, so I kind of make sure it's all set where I want it to be when I go to put it on. <clears throat> I get it started, give it a little rub, and then I just literally pull the tape out as I put it on. And that's literally all there is to it, folks. On and done. Okay, folks, and there we have it. <clears throat> We've got the Chevrolet truck ready to go for the customer, and it looks great. So I hope they appreciate all the work that we had to do, but that's part of it, folks. So if you like what we're doing and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.